All right, <coughs> this is Dr. Krauss with take three on a supplemental lecture video on sketching Bodhi plots. We did not get as far as I would have liked in class today, and so uh, because I locked my keys in my car and all that silliness, and so you're just not quite set up for the homework and the quiz to the degree that I would like you to be. Um, so, one, I want to commit that the quiz is going to only cover Bodhi sketching, which is homework problems one through five. It will not cover Bodhi system ID problems six through seven. So, I'm going to give you a transfer function. You're going to sketch the Bodhi plot. I'm not going to ask you to go the other way yet, where I give you a Bodhi plot and ask you for the transfer function. So the key is to go from left to right, uh, low frequency to high frequency. And so when you start out, ask yourself, what is the low frequency behavior? Do I have a pure integrator? Do I have a pure differentiator? Do I have neither? Do I have a pure double integrator? Do I have a pure double differentiator? And which of those three or five cases, if you want to throw in the double integrator and double differentiator, which of those cases you're in determines does my magnitude start out flat with zero dB? Uh, sorry, so zero db slope and a zero degrees phase. Does it start off with plus 90 degrees phase and a positive 20 db per decade slope, or a minus 90 degrees phase, minus 20 db per decade slope? So if you take, um, and then as you go up in frequency, just ask where are my poles, where are my zeros? At every pole, slope decreases, phase decreases. So for first order, we mean a minus 20 dB per decade slope and a minus 90 degrees phase. And so you start off by drawing the asymptotes and that would happen for second order, it would be minus 40 and minus 180 for a zero. Um, we'd be talking about plus 20 dB per decade on the slope and plus 90 degrees for phase. For a second order zero, it would be plus 40 dB per decade on the slope and plus 180 degrees on the phase. And for second order pole, minus 40 dB per decade on the slope and minus 180 on the phase. So let's take this example. It does have a pure differentiator. So we're gonna start off with plus 20 dB per decade and plus 90 degrees phase. Then we've got poles at two pi and 100 pi radians per second or one hertz and 50 hertz. So we're gonna come over to our Bode plot and I'll make blank templates of these available for you guys for the homework. And like I said, so the issue is um, I get to pick my axes and I'm going to pick this to be 1 hertz or 10 to the 0 because I know I've got a pole at 1 hertz. And then I'm going to pick this to then be 10 hertz or 10 to the 1st and then 100 hertz and then 1000 hertz, making this 0 0.1 and 0 0.01. And then again, I know that I'm going to be sloping up at low frequencies. My slope is going to break um, at my poles. And so I'm just going to make up a spot here where I'm going to have that be my P1. So P1 is equal to 2 pi or 1 hertz. And then 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. I've got P2 equal to 100 pi radians per second or 50 hertz. And so I know at low frequencies I slope up and I'm just kind of guessing as to where I want this vertically to be. I know in my head how the shape of this thing goes. So I've deliberately, I know that it's going to be flat there. So I'm going to have this, this is a plus 20 dB per decade section here because of the pure differentiator then my slope decreases by 20 dB per decade so I go flat after I go to that first pole so this pole causes a decrease of minus 20 which takes me to zero and then this pole gives me another minus 20 dB down and so that so if this is 50 Hertz this ought to be 500 and this ought to be 5,000 if I was careful and so this is now minus 20 
dB per decade. So start at zero frequency or low frequency. Ask yourself, should I be sloping flat or up or down? Up, this case, because of the pure differentiator. Then where are my poles? At each pole, minus 20 dB change. So I go from plus 20 to zero to minus 20. And those are my asymptotes. And then similarly, my phase would start at, I'm going to start here at plus 90. And then I'm going to get to this point, And I know I'm going to drop down minus 90 to 0. And then I'm going to get to this point, And I'm going to drop down another minus 90 to minus 90. So my phase asymptotes, we always just draw those as flat. And so they kind of come in here like so. And then I also know that I pass halfway through at the actual pole frequencies. So my phase, if my poles are far enough apart, I can see two different drops. If my poles start to get too squished together, it might not be obvious if I've got one drop or two drops. And then I could come in here and I'd, I'd be like so. And that's actually some of my better sketching. That should get closer. But that is an approximation of the Bode plot of this guy, which was in the notes. Now, the only thing I haven't done is label my vertical axes on the dB mag. And the issue there um, is that I just have to pick a point. Um, and so I'm going to pick this point right here because I know that's roughly where it's going to max out. And so I'm going to use F equal to 10 hertz. And so the question is, what, are the, what is the magnitude at 10 hertz? So I'm going to come over to Python, and I'm going to define an S that is equal to 1.0J times 10 times 2 times pi. And then I'll say that my gj omega is s divided by s plus 2 pi times s plus 100 pi. And I expect that to be mostly real. And if I look at it, it's a complex value. And so g of j times 20 pi turns out to be 0 0.03 one in the real, and then uh, minus 0 0.0003 j. So the, the magnitude of the real is about 10 times the magnitude of the imaginary. And so I could find its magnitude, and it turns out that m, so magnitude of g, j, omega, is equal to 0 0.0031, pretty much exactly the same as that. And so if I took 20 times the log 10 of that value, this turns out to be minus 50 dB. So I can now come in and I could label this as minus 50. And so that's a little weird that I committed to that. I happen to get lucky that this was a pretty round number. If this had been minus 47, then all my axes labels would look silly, and I might have to decide whether or not I wanted to try to correct the drawing and shift it up or down, whatever. Or I could have done this evaluation ahead of time. And yeah, so that is a pretty good answer for what I think is the magnitude and phase of this um, Bode plot for this transfer function. If I wanted to check it, I could set it up in Python and just run it and see does it look reasonably close to what I've done. Thanks.